in this section we are going to discuss about finally block in exception handling finally blocks are meant for closing resources which are opened in our programs for example you have a try catch block and a finally block like this you have opened some resources here we can close the resources in end of try block but this code is not guaranteed always if there is no exception in try block yes this code is going to be executed if there is any exception here it is going to execute the code present in catch block so closing resources at end of try block doesn't make any sense because sometimes it may not be executed and we can end up with the resources which are still open and it can cause side effects to our application if there is no exception this executes if there is exception the control comes to catch block now this is there is no guarantee this code is going to be executed what we can do is we can place similar code in catch block also if there is exception code in catch block closes the resources if there is no exception code in try block is going to close the resources but it is causing a redundancy we are writing same code at many places which is not going to give a good maintainability for our for our applications so that's the reason we need a block like finally now finally is going to be executed always irrespective of there is an exception or there is no exception so we need something which is executed always to close the resources that is nothing but your finally block here so instead of placing redundant code in try and catch blocks you can just put that code in finally for closing your resources the use case of finally block is to close or to clean up the resources so in general resources can be a file input stream or file output stream or file reader file writers or even jdbc connection is also and resource result set all those things comes under resources thank you now we are going to discuss about finally block in exception handling we use finally blocks to clean up the resources which are opened by our programs resources can be a file input stream file output stream file reader file writer even jdbc connection is a resource so when we open such resources in our programs it must be closed once we are done with those resources otherwise it is going to cause a memory leaks in our applications and it can even crash our applications so it is recommended always to close or clean up the resources which are opened now finally block so for cleaning up resources we have a block called as finally so we can put a clean up code in finally block like this now the question is why can't we do the same in the end of try block after executing all the statements in try in the end of try block i want to clean up the resources the problem here is 
if there is any exception in try this code is not going to be executed the control jumps to catch block immediately so that is a problem if i close resources in end of try why can't we do the same in catch block again the same problem catch is executed if and only if there is an exception if there is no exception catch is not going to be executed and your resources won't be cleaned up that is the reason we have a block called as finally if there is exception still finally is executed if there is no exception still finally is executed so this block is executed always irrespective of there is an exception or there is no exception in the try block and this is the convenient place to clean up all your resources so that is the basic usage of a finally block in our java programs there is one situation when finally cannot be executed that one situation is shutdown of your jvm i have written some code in try and also i have written some code in catch and also i am writing some code in finally saying 1 2 3 there won't be any exception in try catch is not going to be executed but finally is going to be executed run this code and check the output see this is coming from finally block there is no exception finally block executed so let me show the code which throws exception here so i am dividing 10 by 0 which is going to cause arithmetic exception so because of this exception it it executes a code in catch block plus it executes a code in finally why because finally is executed always even if there is no exception finally is executed even if there is exception finally is executed run the code and check the output again yes still your finally block is executed here and i am talking about there is one exceptional case where finally is not executed that exceptional case is shutdown of jvm in system class there is a method called as exit method called as exit this method exit stops the jvm if jvm is stopped there is nothing to execute in this case finally is not guaranteed when we run this code it executes this and it prints 1 when it executes this the instruction here is to stop or to shut down the jvm the jvm shut downs without executing any final block here see that so finally is not executed because the jvm itself is shut down i hope this session helped you to understand why we need finally blocks and how finally blocks work in exception handling